Hey, what's going on guys? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about stall recovery as it relates to EET training or extended envelope training. It's also commonly referred to as UPRT or upset prevention and recovery training. Now, I have this model here, okay? And I'm gonna talk about what is a true stall, okay? A true stall is really, as you know from Pi Private Pilot 101, a disconnection of smooth airflow over the camber or over the top of the airfoil, over the top of the wing. What we train in simulators and type rating training that's not EET training typically is not a full-blown stall. In fact, it's actually an approach to stall. And we recover at the first indication of a stall. So we're not fully stalled. And I'm gonna validate that in just a moment. Let's say you're flying a 737 on your type rating training and you pitch up like this. The autopilot's typically on as we train this, right? And all of a sudden you get the stick shaker. When the stick shaker goes off, if you have pre presence of mind in that moment, take a look at your vertical speed indicator, the VSI, and you will notice that the aircraft is actually level flight. In other words, if this pen could show you the direction of aircraft travel, right, and this is the pitch attitudes pitched up, right, the aircraft, despite the fact that it has a stick shaker on, we're still traveling in a level flight. Now, of course, if we hold that long enough, eventually the path of the airplane will begin to reduce, and now we're fully stalled and we're actually falling or uh, descending, right, because of the aircraft, specifically the airfoils, inability to maintain that aircraft weight in a sustained flight. That's a full-blown stall. In EET training, we train full-blown stalls. And in fact, in our EET program, I talk about full-blown stalls more in depth, how it relates to swept wing aerodynamics, which is true really on any transport category jet for the most part, not all, but for the most part. And we really uncover some concepts and topics there that we're not typically training in other 142 programs. Now that first indication of a stall on a 737, there's actually several indications you're gonna have. You're gonna have a flashing airspeed tape. You're gonna have buffet alert appear in the scratch pad. You're gonna have this, the actual stick shaker. All of these indications are leading up to the actual separation of airflow over the top of the wing and later a full-blown stall. And we're gonna talk more in depth about this at our upcoming 737 virtual training. The virtual training event that we're gonna do, it's a two-day program, it's September 29th and 30th. September 29th and 30th. We would love to have you join us virtually with an audience of existing online members and others that are gonna be joining us for this two-day, 16-hour event. We're gonna talk systems, we're gonna talk operations, we're gonna talk EET, we're gonna talk all kinds of things, and I genuinely hope to see you there. If you can't make it, we'll get you the recording, but don't miss it. I know that the value we're going to deliver there will far exceed expectations, and we very much look forward to seeing you there live. OneStepPrep.com is the name. Juan and Joe, your friends and training program success. We'll see you in another video.